Ayo, you know who it is. It's your boy, me. And right off the bat, I will just get into this and say, if you share this with one of your friends, you will get a dollar. Yes. So share this video. Like and subscribe. If you like and subscribe, you'll get another dollar. That's a whole three dollars. Mm-hmm. Well, since I haven't posted in a while, I thought this would be a perfect time. Uh, so, I'm going to make a... Uh, don't know what you'd want to call this. You could call it a versus. You could call it a nerf knowledge. It's kind of going to be both. It's going to be a nerf knowledge versus. And it'll be about... Flywheels versus Springer. Which is the best? Flywheels. And if you are Springer peasant, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna slap you. But I'm not saying all Spring Blasters are bad. The Hammer Shot's a great blaster. The Raider is a nice blaster. And just like the Artemis and Sledge Fire. Now, there are a lot of good ones, but those are fun. When you want to actually win with an Nerf War, you better have fly reels. If you go with some Springer, I will annihilate you. Oh, it's actually loaded. Okay. So, um, just to start off, since I have them right here. I'll start off with the Springers. Wow, this is very, very high. Let's pull that down a little. Good enough. Well, now the difference, right off, I'm just going to say the difference between a flywheel and a Springer is in the name. A Springer has a spring, which is basically operating everything. When you prime this back, it compresses the spring, push it back and it stays compressed then you pull the trigger and it don't know what you wouldn't call this but it kind of thrusts forward and all the air pushes in a very small tube into the dart which therefore pushes it out the barrel and tags someone and on flywheels it is a little different it is battery operated so it's electric and the uh, flywheels are operated by a rev trigger And when you pull the trigger, hopefully you guys can see this, but in here, when you, that, you can see it. When you rev it, you rev first, and then you go. Now that orange little rod, right there, sledge fire fell. Didn't break. I'm good. But this little rod right there pushes the dart out of the magazine into the flywheels, which are right there. And you're revving them. Really can't see them, but when you rev the flywheels, they start to move pretty quickly. When that dart gets pushed into those flywheels, it just kind of turns a dart not turn like spirals like an actual firearm it kind of pushes it out and it goes and hits your target if you're accurate not like max ha 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 uh, so I'll just start off with springs now okay could you not please now for a uh, springer there are a lot of different springers and since there are a lot of different ones, there are a lot of different ways that a springer works. Like for these. When you prime it back, uh, it starts about here. And it kind of pushes it back. That's why this. And this is like a priming indicator. This is how you know when the spring is all the way back. Then, once you let go... 
you'll see this moved up, and then you can pull it back again. Now, all springers have a plunger tube, uh, maybe small, maybe big, like this one. It's pretty big, like it's bigger than a hammer shot. Then, like a long shot, those things have a humongous one. Oh! But then, I opened this up once, and it's kind of different, but yeah, there is a plunger too. It's right about here. Because when you look at it, there's the air restrictors, and this is a smart AR system, so no, I have not taken out the air restrictors. Right in about here. That is where the plunger tube is. So, when these are all pushed back, and you have a shell in... And it pushes those air restrictors back. That click indicates that it's already ready to fire. Pull the trigger. Boom. Love this blaster. Stay. It won't stay. I'll put it right there then. Won't stay on my chair. I'll just uh, stay with the reader for now. Yeah, for the flip. Yeah. Now, after you climb back, you just pull the trigger. And it shoots. That's how it works. Prime. Let me show you this. Prime back. Boom. That's your priming indicator. Pull forward. And it stays back. And then. Boom. I'm gonna have a hard time finding that dart. Oh, never mind. So, when you prime this back, right in here, actually, you can see it. That little thing moving, when the magazine is in the magwell, it kind of takes one dart, closes in, and it's kind of like cut off from everything and then of course it's priming indicated so then you pull the trigger all that air pushes on that dart and that is how the springer works let me show you this again that is how this one works and there are a lot of other ones like long shot which is like this there are like the artemis which is like this but a lot smaller. Every springer is different. And then there are some that have the bottom, like a jolt. Then there are some that pull back, like a um, snap fire, that's what it's called. Then there's some that prime from the top, like. Um, a flip fury, a disruptor, a maverick, a strong arm, like one of those. Then there are hammer actions, like the dual strike or double strike, however you want to say it, the hammer shot, then I believe the negotiator. Don't quote me on that, but I do know those first two. Now, those are some of the ones that you might know. Now, anything else on this? No, not really. Now, for a Springer, it is a lot different when you're modifying a Springer. Like, there are K25s and K26s. Now, if you don't know what a K25 and a K26 is, it's basically an upgraded spring. So, when you pull back, it's going to be a lot harder. So, therefore, it's going to push a lot harder on that dart. Which means you get a better range, unless your dart just completely explodes in the barrel. Now, I've seen some people uh, try and put like a K26 into some blaster, and then trying to have a rifle in, like, rifle in here. Like, I don't know which one to call it, but I just call it rifling. Just when you kind of want to twist the dart, which makes it more accurate. Like a real, actual firearm. Like an AR-15, an AK-47. Any of those. Now, it kind of twists the dart, so it can be more accurate might shoot a little farther 
not a lot, but it's going to be a lot more accurate. So, and anything else you can do with these, there's, um, like, um, dang it. Like, you can put a plunger tube and anything in this. Like a Raider, it's okay to mod, or never really seen anybody go in-depth with modifying it. Like, I've seen a couple people put a K25, a couple K26s. Then, you have, like, the people that just tear it up. Just take this little piece, this piece, this piece. Just make some great-looking blaster out of, like, seven different blasters. Like, might have a handle of a Raider. Might have, like, a stock from a Retaliator or something to attach on the back. And it might have some sort of, like, pump from, like, an Artemis or something. Right, there are a lot of cool ways that you can modify these. And then, for the flywheels, it's a little different. Now, for Springer, there are a couple mod kits out there. I've seen some for the uh, Nerf Apollo. Um, I've seen, s I wouldn't call them mod kits, but like add-ons. Like for the Artemis, the um, regular just vertical. A handle on that I've seen people put like an angled or just like a flat one like Drac he has one um and then there are um oh yeah the hammer shots there are a couple for the hammer shots make it like a longer barrel hey move out of the way thank you like camera ever so slightly tilting step but um there are a lot of other mod kits for a lot of other different blasters. Like Worker, I believe they've made their own, like, Prophecy Kit. That's what it's called. It's a Prophecy Kit. It's like their own blaster with their own add-ons and everything. And then also, like, um, I believe the uh, Barrett 50 Cal. Uh, Worker makes all of that. But uh, there are just a lot of things that you can do with a Springer that you can't do with a Flywheel. And then something very different about a flywheel versus a springer is usually springers you have to prime them back and then you can put the magazine in there are a couple magazine I don't even think there's one no there isn't even one spring mag fed blaster no, every blaster you have to prime it back then put in the magazine now, for this one, it's hanging out the side, but of course there are others that hang down here. Then there's that new uh, zombie strike one that's coming out of the top. Hmm. Don't like that plaster. Way too loud and way too inaccurate. And kind of one similar between, similarity, between a flywheel and a springer is a jam door. Almost every blaster that is uh, magfit as the jam door almost any now, since this is a uh, stop don't move gotta move those papers now for a springer like this this is a little different now for this one kinda have to do pull this back that sound you hear is priming the spring back. Then, you lock it in, and it's ready to shoot. Now, since this is a sledge fire, you need these shells. But, there's really nothing else to say. It's very similar to that. So I'll just move on to flywheels. Now, for flywheels. There are two different kinds of flywheels. There are semi-auto. Actually, there's three now. For the regulator, it has uh, semi-fire, it has full auto, and a, a three-round burst. So that's kind of cool. But the main two are semi-auto and full auto. Thick strife, for example. This is semi-auto. I'll take all. I'll take all these attachments off. But for a semi-auto blaster, a semi-auto means when you pull the trigger back. Once, it shoots one dart. Now for a full auto, 
when you hold the trigger, it just lays down every dart in your magazine. Now, of course, there are a lot of different flywheels, but I've chose the Strife because it is the most known flywheel. Now, if I had a rapid track, I'd do that too, but I broke mine. But for full auto, I really don't know because I really only have two. Uh, I have a Chaos and a Nitron. So, I won't get to those. I'll just stay with semi-auto. But I will do a quick little overview of those. I'll just do it with Chaos, which is a huge blaster. 40 round magazine. Now, why do I have a Chaos? It was my birthday present for Max. Now I would get a Nemesis. I would get a Prometheus, but I don't have that. Since this is full auto, oh uh, no! Since this is full auto, it's different than a semi. That belt takes these rounds off the top. And put them under the flywheels when you hold the trigger. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, for a semi auto, I've already shown you this. Just pushes it in the flywheels. Now, for mod kits, oh my god. For this strife, there are hundreds. I've seen a UMP9, I've seen a SCAR, I've seen vectors. Just, oh my god. One second. Who's texting me? Hmm. That's really all I have to say, but um, since I've already done this at the beginning, um, that's really all. So uh, keep nerfing them noobs. NVN out. Peace.